Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm Ann Rossley here with my dear friend and colleague, Kyle Harvey. We sell real estate in downtown Chicago, and we're happy to be here today, October 14th, to talk about what's going on. Absolutely. Good morning. Good morning. What a cloudy day. Are we going to have rain? We did have rain overnight, and we will have rain sporadically, and we'll have lots of rain tomorrow. And but it's, it's fall. Cold. It's finally fall. Yeah. We had a long summer, people. Chicago's weather has been glorious this entire year. Good Lord. Yes, it has. The yeah. um, And it's been so lovely that you notice that the trees are a little bit late in turning this year. We're starting to get our colors now. So yeah. and, happy uh, Indigenous Peoples Day, everyone. And uh, today we're going to do our typical stats. Then we're going to talk about a, a couple of fun topics, including where to live if you want to be along the marathon route. And then we're going to talk some more fun topics, right? Yeah. So that's the plan. So I'm going to take our names away and I'm going to jump into stats. We got to lose the coffee cup too. Okay. Lose the coffee cup. There we go. All right. As always, we talk about the lakefront communities, uh, South Loop up to Rogers Park and those communities to the West, which includes West Town, Logan, Wicker Park, Bucktown, Roscoe Village, yada, yada. Let's look first at houses. All right. In September, 83 homes closed. 75 went under contract. So that's up from last year, right? We're comparing it to last year. Yep. 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 And it's up from the year before that. Yes. Good. Yeah. Okay. Homes for sale. Slowest, lowest September in memory. Good Lord. Yeah. 3.3 months of inventory that just ticked up a little bit, but you know, again, what, you know, it's not the worst. No, okay. but it's pretty low. It's pretty September. low. I'll September. give you low, but look, we went up in price again. Median sales price is now up to a million three, four, nine, but look at that steep increase since 2020. Big increase. Since, since we've been on the, on the doing this. Wow. Yeah. When did we start again? August. Of... No, no, no. We started in 2020. Yeah. That thing was during the pandemic, that um, intro. Yeah. So. Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We're 157 wow. episodes in. Lots. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so median sales price up. Showings per listing, 3.8 per month per house. All right. Condos. Uh, co-ops, townhomes. We're doing attached. All right. 697 closed, which is down from previous months. But as you can see, it's previous, a typical... Is it previous months or previous years? What? Well, previous months is the, you know, the down on the right. Yeah. But then, no. Ver and your versus but, we got a lot of dots. So one dot... Those dots, right, represent... Oh, the... the Okay, one dot's in the wrong place. Okay. 708 dot is in the wrong place. Okay. But that is for September of 2022. 2022. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about that. But you can see, I mean, the most closed in a September was in 2021 with 1194. Yeah. Pretty so nice. that's pretty significantly higher. What is it, like 40% higher or something? And so we're low because there's not a lot on the market. Right, right. But yeah, definitely inventory is the name of the game here. Do you also <laughs> think this, that some of it had to do with that they, people were waiting for rates to drop too? Oh, for sure. Okay. Absolutely. And I think as they start to drop and once we get past the election, although I don't know why everybody waits for the election, but whatever. Yeah. Um, look at... Uh, 648 is not bad for under contract. I mean, certainly higher than September last year. And, uh, but you can see, I mean, some of this is just the monthly, 
the ebb and flow of the annual seasonality. We're just on a lower side of the. Yes. It's always going to be up and down just based on the seasonality. Yes. Exactly. All right. $24.86 for sale. So a little uptick, but still, again, the lowest September. Like oh, half of what it was in 2019. Look at, look at that 704. Wow. I know. Oh, well, we've come down. And look, we have there's yes. less inventory than there is of single family homes. There's only three months worth of inventory. Yeah. All right. Look at this. All time high unattached, 439,250. Remember when we couldn't cross the 400 mark? I know. We were at 400 for like a full year. And we were like, like 395, 390. We were there for a long time. Yes, that's, we that's were. Awesome. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's showing some increase. All right. This is, I think, very interesting. This is attached year to date for three years in a row. So January through September, 22, 23, 24. And we're still a little bit lower January through September versus previous year. Um, this, so is, this is inventory, right? Or no, is this closed? These are closed. Okay. Well, Number of sales. Again, now. inventory. It's not volume of sales because I'll bet you that number would be higher this year than last because of the price increases. Price increase, exactly. This is just strict units. Mm -hmm. But look at single family homes. Wow. Yeah. 768 is 8% higher than 2023. Granted, that's a horrific 34% lower. But again, and also 2022 was crazy. Absolutely right. It was an outlier. Yeah, yeah, we don't typically do that. So I guess the numbers typically are about five and a half to six million homes are sold every year, approximately. Around the country. In the, in the this year, we're going to be at like 4.5 million. I mean, really low. But they're projecting 5 million for next year. Are you talking around the country? or? Yes, 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 yes. Because yes, yes. I was going to say, we don't have that. <laughs> Well, that'd be fun to sell that many. Okay, this is interesting. The showing time. Now, granted, this is only through August, but look, August was down to 132 on the index. And that is a little bit ahead of the United States. But look back at February and March when we were cooking 200 yeah, and wow. 214 indexes, right? Mm -hmm. So inventory is down and buyer foot traffic is down. All right. So this was last Friday's um, mortgage rates, Fannie Mae, 6.32. And you see at the far right of the screen, and there's a little bitty uptick. But for the most part, they're coming down. They are. It's Everybody expects it to continue, but it's going to be a bumpy ride. We're not going to have a straight line. Which way do I do it? I guess yeah. I see them backwards. <laughs> if you have a straight line up, it's pretty straight. But we're going to have a slow, bumpy ride down. It's going to be a bumpy. Yeah. Okay. Median rent. We are down from la last month, but up from last year. But they're pretty stable right now. Um, and you can see with the numbers, the you know one bedroom down 13% versus last 30 days, but up 5% year over year. So... Uh, the loop is still the most expensive at thirty four forty one, and Uptown's your bargain at eighteen fifty. And we're still number eleven in the United States in terms of affordability or expenses. We're <laughs> it's not the most affordable; it's the most expensive. These so are the most expensive, but they're also, if you look at these places, the best places in the world. I mean, yeah, the right, right, right. We're all yeah. You, you can put me with uh, Honolulu and Washington, D.C. and San Diego any day of the week, right? Arlington is beautiful right outside D.C. I mean, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, anywho, uh, that's it. That's what I've got there. Okay. Well, um, you want to talk? What do you want to talk about? See, so, I am seeing um, my, so I have luxury. Uh, listings and I have non luxury listings. And interestingly, there's more foot traffic in the luxury, even though the luxury market is pretty slow right now and has been slow all summer. I'm seeing a little bit more foot traffic there than in the um, 
in the more the more entry level pricing. You know, that doesn't surprise me. The reverse. Right. Usually it's the reverse, but think about it. Number one, uh, we are, well, we're out of the seasonality. Luxury is not as seasonal, right? right? No. It's not as seasonal. You've got more cash buyers. Yeah. So they're less influenced by mortgage rates. They move when they want to move. You know, the thing that's so funny. So I've got um, a, uh, a luxury listing, a beautiful luxury listing in really good shape. And I got a, I got a real low ball offer from these people. And they're like, we're cash buyers. And I wanted to say, everybody is. Yeah, you and everybody else. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing that, um, yeah. that you're offering that is appealing. <laughs> oh, no, but we're cash. I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah. You know, that is funny, though. It used to be that not many people were cash, and that was a huge deal to be cash. Well, when it was 2.8% mortgages, even people with the money are like, I got to get a mortgage because it's so much cheaper. I can use that money and invest it somewhere and make more money from it. So, um, yeah, cash buyers now make really good sense. Um, or in their minds, they make good sense. Right, right, right. Um, well, we had a number of topics. Now, so do we want to? Do we want to look? Let's look at the marathon homes first. Yes, let's do that. Let's look at marathon homes. Do you need so me to pull that up, or can you pull that up? I think you have to pull it up. Okay. I get to play with it, but you get to pull it up. Um, okay. So, people who watched the marathon, who won? Which Kenyan won? I don't know. All I'm I saying, know is. It, did you see my uh, Instagram story or my Facebook story yesterday it. morning? Oh, oh. I was walking the dogs and just the people all around, you know, because, again, I live at ground zero. So you do. So as okay. Lizzie would say, it was very people yesterday morning. So I, I I meant to put up a map of the of the marathon. It runs pretty close for most of it. It's pretty close to the lakefront. It goes west into the West Loop. But um, so we'll see. I chose four condo homes on the marathon route. So you could look out your window or stand in, right outside your door. OK. Or you could run the marathon and wave at your home and all your, your fans could be there. And, and. <laughs> so this is a rental building that is converting to condos. It's called the Hensley currently, and it's converting to, okay, I'm just going to say it, Chateau on Wells. No, right. no. Where <laughs> to God. So, um, and they, so they have, so, so this building, um, the lobby, and I didn't do a picture of the lobby afterwards, but the, the, the description says the lobby has the opulence of a French chateau. But I'm sure it's lovely. Um, but at the same time, if I were to you don't have a photo of a mix, lobby or a rendering or anything so we could compare it to a I, I, I wish I did. And I, I'm sorry, people. I read this afterwards this morning when I was having breakfast and tried not to choke with giggles. Okay. So, I um, mean, look at the building. Is there anything about this building that says French Chateau? Okay. No. So, but no. They, what's interesting, so it's been a rental and you can buy a unit either lived in or redone like this this is glammed up the glammed up one costs more but so this is this is the model they don't have the model but these are the finishes that the glammed up that cost they don't show you a regular unit yeah they, they're, they're not showing you regular units but this unit is and here's the price Anne. yeah um, four hundred and seventy one thousand five hundred and fourteen dollars <laughs> there is no SIO component to that price. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Okay. So this is what the, and, and they won't give you a size of it, but look at how tiny that bedroom is. And oh, the living yeah. space is this, but it's a cute balcony. Um, but that's the kind of finishes, and they're kind. Is it four seventy one for regular or four seventy one for glammed? Well, they seem to say you know it's not per, um, one bedroom starting at four forty three, and two bedrooms at five thirty eight. 
So it's just not clear. Three bedrooms higher. Um, units are priced in two categories, as is or are Grand Cru option. Oh, Grand okay. Package. This is the Grand Cru package. <laughs> Oh, I love kidding. this marketing. Well, look at those floors. I mean, it is it is kind of beautiful, though. Is that hardwood floor or is that? It's a hardwood that? floor, wide plank, really? um, very natural um, color wood. Um, I'm just going to say, though, um, it may be 700 square feet. I think you're right. It's tiny, tiny. So, but, and they seem to provide AstroTurf for your balcony, if you want. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's your French chateau. Field. So that's it. But that's interesting. And you know who's got the um, got the uh, the who's responsible for renting it out? Who? Matt Laracy. So okay, next, fifteen hundred North LaSalle. So this is on mile five. Mile five. Um, the other one okay. was on the way back south. So this is on the way okay. north. Yeah. It starts. In and around, where does it start? Grand Parkish. Yeah, it starts. Yeah, right, right in front of my building, Columbus okay. and Jackson. Okay, so this is headed north. This is mile five, and the Well Street one is like mile ten, eleven. Okay. That. Okay. So beautiful building at the corner of Burton and LaSalle. It's. I think it's just such a handsome building, and it's a condo building. It's. Um, a three bedroom, though I put a little asterisk on the three because one of the bedrooms is tiny. Um, yeah. At five sixty five, no parking. Oh, I no showed parking. a unit in this building a couple weeks ago, and it was on the fourth or fifth floor, and it cleared everything around it. It was so sunny, bright, and lovely. Is there um, an elevator? Yeah, there's an elevator in there. Absolutely. Yeah. So it and they're and they're often nice size. Now I'm going to ask you this. Yes. Wouldn't you get all of the furniture out and virtually stage it? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, look at that's that. not helping the look for sure. That is not helping the look. Also, the listing doesn't provide any appliances, etc. But it says the electric supplier. <laughs> it's comed people. Not very um, but anyway, so this little room at the front is the third bedroom. With, okay. Um, so you know what? I don't know whether they did something artificial, but it looks pretty light for a first floor. I'm gonna say because this is Burton, it looks like. So they're getting self light, and they're and remember they're low. Um, the buildings across the street are low, so my yeah. guess is this is a bright unit. Yeah. Not as bright as above. But right. If you want to live on the first floor on LaSalle. But it's a it's a high first floor. Okay. So open kitchen, very, you know, this is an old kitchen. Look at the floors. I mean, it's an older it's this, cute. It's cute, but it's you're gonna do some work. So this is this is this again. Is, listen, if we were your listing agents, we would be putting bedspreads on that. No, we wouldn't. We get the whole I thing out and virtually stage it. Please look at the chandelier and the cot and the Peloton. Yeah. Okay, people. I'm, I'm, you I'm, can I'm, virtually I'm, remove items too. People. Uh, I would do whatever. Okay. Okay. But then it's got this beautiful. Oh, the roof wall. deck is glorious at this building. It definitely is lovely. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to watch the view. the, um, the uh, thing from that? the um, marathon from up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. So next one. Pull up the next one. Oh, 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 sorry. Hold on. There you go. This one I've seen. This is on South Michigan. So, You've been down to Motor Row? Oh, yeah. It's so cool. So cool down there, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so this is on Motor Row, Row um, and a part of Chicago that used to have um, a lot of um auto dealerships and it in is in old buildings and the buildings are remarkable yeah, yeah um this one was a condo building that um was developed the, the old part of the building is the part that you see straight ahead and the new part is the side to the right um, you see the big m on top yeah love that m 
Okay. The whole thing is so, I mean, it's really good. So this is a um, two bedroom, two bath, um, and it's got a nice little balcony. It is, uh, it hasn't been totally redone, but it has been recently refreshed and it looks good. So they, um, it's, it's just this really, I mean, it looks great. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it really, it, it really is cute. It's, um, it's got a, a, a long hallway into the unit, but once you're in it, it's really great. And it's got in-unit laundry. I mean, it's okay. really, and then. I'd like to really speak, fun. I'd like to speak in favor of long hallways. Tell I me. used to like, when I was showing, I would say, oh, this is such a waste of square footage. I live in a long hallway unit. Tell me. You don't hear people walking by when you're in a long hallway because you're so far removed from the front door. Mm -hmm. And you can make a gallery wall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but, there, yeah. Some, but it is wasted square feet a little bit. A little bit, but it does give you that buffer and you can do some fun things with it. I'm just saying, I mean, if you only have a 700 square foot condo, you don't want a long hallway, but you know. <laughs> If this is 1,400 square feet, but some of those 1,400 is the hallway. Okay. Um, but it, I'm going to tell you, this is a really cute unit. It is um, there. So it's interesting. So they initially priced it with the parking space in it. And they pulled, then they reduced the price to pull out the parking space. It was priced just under $450,000. And now it's priced at $423,500, pulling out the parking space. But here's the thing. But at $423,000. For 1,400 square feet and a balcony. And great light. And great light. Now, granted, your view, look at that view. It's not great, but. It's not bad. No, no, it's up and coming. I mean, it's if you want to. And it's also close to 55. It's a good commuting line. Like it's close to 55. It's close to the outer drive. It's close to everything. And let me tell you, Michigan Ave, South Michigan Avenue is coming. Yeah, it is. looking great. There are plans. It's going to be fantastic. Right. Um, and as they do the 78 also, that's yeah, no, also the thing is, this is a neighborhood that you should people should think about investing in. Yeah. Um. OK, so but here's the thing. They can't sell the parking to anyone except somebody who lives in the building. OK, that's my huge pet peeve. Huge pet peeve. Huge pet peeve. I mean. It is so confusing for our buyers when they go to look. And, and and this is the other one. When they say, how many parking spaces? One. But it's available for lease around the corner. Right. Right? I mean, let's be transparent, folks, and let people know really what they're looking at here. Well, but here's the thing. Some people search on parking. And what they, what you, so I, I don't do this because I'm lucky enough that most of my listings have parking. But. Um, parking in a neighborhood like, let's just say Old Town, where sometimes okay. you have to park around the corner or there, there's a this. Yeah. And, but you, you sort of don't want them to rule out an entire neighborhood because there isn't parking. So, you know, I, I get, and I do get it in the, in the, in the Gold Coast to say parking is across the street, you know, for 1320 um, North State, a beautiful co-op building that has, that everyone parks across the street. Yeah, they, they park across. in your building and it's easy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I can see them saying there's parking. Don't panic people, there is parking. But um, okay. I, you know, I'm, I'm on two minds, I'm with you. So, but, but put the price, if you have to sell it with the unit, combine it. So it's a limited common element assigned to this unit or is it a deeded, do you know? I, I don't expect you to know. I mean, you haven't really seen it. Is it is deeded. Okay. But because of the security of the building. But you could sell it to somebody else inside the building, couldn't you? Absolutely. Absolutely. You would right. never do that because it would destroy the value of your unit. But, right. But, but some people make that decision if money's tight. But yeah, in this location, I don't know why you'd ever not have parking. Here's, a, here's more of the beautiful. Um, I mean, if you like brick. This is beautiful. Um, and you could add, if you want to add art to the walls, you could um, put some drywall up. Yeah. And then here's the last one. So this is when you're going west on Adams. There's a big, like, whoosh west, a bubble. 
goes out Adams, turns on um, Damon and comes back on Jackson. This is at 1000 West Adams. It's on the market for 625. And it's again, a lofty space. Now, people, you do know that I would give you a floor plan. If there's a floor plan. I think this one may have a floor plan. Um, but really cute, lots of light, nice little view. Um, this one is, and of course, they. I, if you see in the listing that they refuse to tell you the square footage, it means it's small. <laughs> or smaller than you want for the price. Right, right. A nice long hallway to Anne's point. Still long hallways. Yes, but but a nice kitchen, really very pretty and useful. So this is this is what the bedrooms kind of look like. Is that the primary? This is. Oh. This is the second. Okay. So you don't West Loop. Yeah. It's West Loop. It's um, but this was built like this. Yeah. But they've redone the bathroom. So I'm I'm saying it's it's actually pretty. Um, but you have to like sort of that law feel. The building right. has all of these nice amenities. Oh, and you can't beat views of the city from the West Loop. Oh, my God. Yeah. So that's all I got for this. Okay. I love it. All right. So I told you I was going to bring a little bit about property taxes today because that's all the news in Chicago. Whoops. Wait. Sorry. Close your eyes, everybody. I'm going to skim back. There we go. Um, okay. So it is reassessment time. And these are showing the last reassessment townships. When they reassess, they reassess every three years, as you know, Kyle, uh, and they look at your value. Value is one component of your property tax bill. It doesn't determine it because there's multipliers and budgets and all kinds of other things involved. But these people value these people's values during the last triennial went up like 38 to 46 percent. So we're in the process right now of, and I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to share my screen if I can. Chrome tab. Oh, dear. Here we go. There. In Cook County? Can you share that? See that? Uh, I can. Yes. But OK, right. so Jefferson Township is currently open for appeals until November 13th. North Chicago, which is basically the river north to Fullerton, you're going to get your reassessments in the next week. It says it's opening in mid-October. And just to show you what the calendar looks like, here's what Lakeview looked like. So the reassessments came out in July. You had until August 14th to file your appeal on how much the property's worth. Six weeks. And then they certify it, and then they publish it, and then they review the appeals by November 8th. So it's too late, all you people in Lakeview, to put anything in, but the determinations aren't out there yet. So but everyone in North Chicago, in North Chicago, get on it. Absolutely. Get on it for I'm sure. Goodbye. And Rosley is coming back. She somehow has pressed the wrong button. She'll be back in a second. Um, North Chicago, uh, it, Absolutely. Do file your assessment. Look for it. <laughs> I'm back. I hit a, I hit an X. Be careful what X you hit, peeps. Just saying. <laughs> I, 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 there was a moment of panic. You need to go back and look at the panic that I had. <laughs> All right. So I just want to show you a little bit about Lake, Lakeview here. So Single family homes in 23, the median sales price was a million one six nine. They actually anticipated them going down in 2024, which I thought was interesting. And they used that data to prepare and they take the township here and they break it into smaller demographic units um, to determine how they're going to give the values. And here's basically what they came up with. The top is single family homes. The bottom is condos. And that's how they came up with it. Okay, so there are three reasons that you can use for filing an appeal. So just saying it's too high is not gonna work. It's not gonna get you where you wanna go. Okay, lack of uni uniformity is one argument you can make. It means, 
If you look at comparable properties, those that are similar to yours and determine whether the assessed value of yours is out of line with them. Okay. Overvaluation. So let's say closing statements, information of purchase price or, or whatever you can submit or incorrect property description. So like maybe they're calling your home. 5,000 square feet and it's 3,200. Thank you. Yes. And they do only include above grade, unlike a lot of us that include the below grade stuff. Um, if you do a renovation and you get uh, permits, that will give them an indication that your property value goes up. Um, anyway, so that's that. So then I wanted to take a look and see what's happened. So here's 2458 Geneva. This is all in the Lakeview Township. Uh, their taxes were 26557 based on a value of a million four seven zero. They just recently got reassessed at a million eight two zero. It used to be that these market values were way lower than it would sell for. Now I'm finding that they're at or above even what the property would sell for. So when did it sell for one point eight? Within the last year or two, because I pulled up. I got it. I just wanted. wanted yeah, to on these others, I have dates on them. Yeah, no, no, Here's no. Draper. This just closed. It had a total renovation. It was only fourteen thousand before. It went from a seven twenty one in twenty three. You can see that on the right side under twenty twenty three to the left side a million three nine five. So it went up ninety three percent. But you would expect that with a new house. Yes. That it, that the old little there was probably a little workers cottage underneath that, and now it's a new house. You you got to warn your buyers. You're gonna Absolutely your right. Buyers. Yeah. Um. I think this this million four might be incorrect. It sold in twenty twenty four. It was at a million seven two zero. Now it's two million thirty. It's up eighteen percent. Fourteen thirty nine Wrightwood sold in two thousand fourteen. Wow. Built in so built in thirteen sold in fourteen. So you know they probably assessed it at like two percent right out of the gate of value then so it's only up 12.3 but again look it sold in 14 at a million eight two two five the assessor is now saying it's worth two million one four oh they're probably right right wood, yeah. a new house that big and 20 2014 was a low point in the in the chicago real estate market they're probably right but listen get yourself a um, tax lawyer and right and try. I mean, the oh, the thing you must do, homeowners and condo owners, condos associations usually take care of this for you, is to fight every minute you can. Every time you get an opportunity, fight it because that will keep your taxes at the lowest that they can possibly be. Right. Otherwise, you're going to be like, oh, I don't care. And then it's going to be it's just going to be a balloon and it's going to affect your resale value. Well, right. Well, and if everybody else around you is fighting them and you're not. You yeah. Know, yeah. Marshfield here built in 18, closed in 19. Today, they say it's worth a million six eight zero, and its property taxes went up 25 percent. This is my old neighborhood. My friend's home, 5410 Lakewood. Hers went up 44% from a million 38 to a million five. So, you know, we're going to see numbers all over the board. So to your point, Kyle, fight. And remember, everybody, the cost can be contingent on the savings. You don't have to pay money out of pocket to hire an attorney to help you. Find one that will get paid based on the savings that they find for you. Yes. And if that... If, you, if somebody says, oh, I won't do it for you, um, I'm, I'm not offering that. I'll offer it at a fee. They're probably telling you it's at the right number. Yeah, so, um, right. Fair price. Uh, it's worth okay. checking out. You have any other headlines you want to talk about? No, because we are out of time, people. We'll save it for next week. Okay. Good to see uh, you. Good to see you, too. Good to be back, everybody. It is a great time to be in the market. Rates are coming down. Um Talk to Kyle and me about how we can help you. Have a great week. Bye.